Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carlijn, but my friends call me Car. I love to travel and want to share my trips and adventures with you all in this vlog. Morning, morning everyone. Day four in Tokyo. Well, technically day five, but we didn't do anything the day that we arrived because it was late. So first up is breakfast. Um, we're gonna bring you along day four in Tokyo. After we got our daily 7-Eleven smoothie, we took a cab to Shibuya for breakfast. And once arrived, we ran into the cutest little Shiba puppy. Oh my God, he's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> come in, come in. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to lick you know. <laughs> We're gonna go to Takeshito right? Dori. Little streets in Harajuku. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some crabs there, pancakes, <laughs> and <laughs> cotton candy. Um, and what else are we gonna do? <clears throat> Big plans. Um, they have the, the cosplay, like baby doll style there. Anyway, so we're gonna do that area today. And then after that, Senso G. And then we're gonna see a view, right? So, right. Tokyo <laughs> Sky. I'm, a, I'm also super jet lagged. Still. <laughs> that being, being the main culprit. Um, but yeah, we're just having our brekkie now. I'm having my first ever matcha in my life, literally. Oh, it's kind of like a mixture between coffee and tea. Hmm. This is so this is so Japanese. Me on the street with a matcha. You live Can here I now. Be more? <laughs> like duh. It's so like say something. Killing it. Go away. I say... only almost threw the matcha myself. It's the same color. An ape. What a great find. <laughs> it matches me outfit too. It's so tiny next to you. <laughs> Huge. This 400 meter long street in Harajuku is known for its affordable shops selling super colorful and crazy clothes and accessories. It's considered the heart of all trendy and weird things in Tokyo. In the 90s, it was known as the place for counterfeit American and Japanese clothes. This street was definitely instrumental in facilitating the rise of Harajuku style street fashion. You can definitely expect to see full on Harajuku style girls dressed in baby dolls, edgy grunge or gothic style clothing. But Harajuku includes many different styles ranging from Lolita, Decora, Kanguro and Visual K. But kawaii fashion, meaning cute, is definitely the most famous one of all. Takashita Dori is also a paradise for sweets lovers, so definitely don't miss the fluffy sugary crepes or massive cotton candy that you can find here. Here you see the baby manhandling and demolishing our very expensive cotton candy within under two seconds. <laughs> and next up, we had to live the full Harajuku experience, of course, so we decided to try on some kawaii outfits. Oh my god! That's oh my so god! Cool. Tried out the outfit, the kawaii outfit, finally. Kawaii. And I broke the zipper of one of the skirts with my enormous ass oh, okay. because all these Japanese girls. <laughs> are those, like so one tiny. size fits all. It's, it's so not tiny. Yeah. We just went to um, a vintage store nearby that's called Chicago, and you best know that we hauled a lot of shit. I gave myself a budget. Did not follow that budget. <laughs> Okay, so we're just editing our very creepy big eye pictures over here. Op weg naar Echkai 3. Et voila, no better place to see a good view from than the Tokyo Sky Tree. Some people might not know this, but this tower is actually Tokyo's radio tower, um, which provides the Ganzo area with numerous TV and radio stations in Tokyo. After getting our ticket, we took a very short ride in this lift, which moves up at a speed of 600 meters per minute, and my ears did absolutely feel it, you guys. The Tokyo Sky Tree has a height of 634 meters and was the second tallest tower in the world at the time of its completion. 
the highlight of the Tokyo Sky Tree is of course its two observation decks, which offer amazing 360 degree views over Tokyo, and from where you can even see Mount Fuji on a clear day. But as you can see, we happen to be there on a cloudy day, so we didn't get to see Mount Fuji. The observation decks lie at 350 and 450 meters respectively, making them the highest observation decks in Japan. And, a little fun fact, the name of the tower was decided by a national vote in 2008. 33,000 Japanese people voted on this name out of 110,000 votes cast. This is quite scary. Kaleen, how are they all? Well, we were just up there and look at that unicorn lighting the sky up. <laughs> it's me, Hi. or it's Baka. <laughs> <laughs> I use a horse There's when the you horse. can use a human. <laughs> exactly. I must be fit here. I love it. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> and after soaking up the views from up above, we made our way to the Sensuji Temple. <laughs> Caroline and me making the exact same video. Hey! Yay here! <laughs> it's yeah, here! Yay for the Sensuji! <laughs> Sensoji is a Buddhist temple dedicated to Kanon, the goddess of compassion. This is the outer gate called Kaminarimon or Thunder Gate, which is famous for its giant red Chochen lantern, which weighs around 700 kilograms. A shopping street of over 200 meters called the Nakamisedori leads from the outer gate to the temple's main gate, the Hozomon. Here you can buy traditional Japanese snacks and souvenirs. Nakamisedori is also Japan's oldest shopping street, dating back all the way to the 17th century. The Hosomon Gate also has a Chochen lantern and is flanked on each side by two Neo statues. On the left is the god of wind and on the right the god of lightning and thunder. Past the Hosomon Gate lies the main palace called the Gokuden, where the canon is enshrined, and besides it lies a beautiful five-story pagoda. In front of the main palace you will see the Yokoro, an enormous incense burner set to heal the wounds of those who bathe in its smoke. In fact, you will often see visitors directing the smoke onto their face and body for cleansing and healing effects. The Sensoji Temple is Tokyo's oldest temple dating back to 645. It is also the most popular temple and receives over 30 million visitors each year. Okay, having a little nighttime walk on our way to dinner. Antikar is holding hands with Noah. Let's, cr let's cross here. Oh, there we are. Cute. What are we doing, Carl? What are we eating tonight? Yeah, yeah tonkatsu. I already, I already said it. <laughs> All right. After a long day of sightseeing, we found this cute little place for dinner in Shinjuku filled with locals and got recommended a dish called tonkatsu, which quickly became our favorite go-to meal in Japan. It smells great in here, Karim. Uh, sumimasen, harate kudasai? <laughs> There's no words to explain to us how good this meal was. Oh my god. And this magic sauce, oh. don't even know what's in it. It's delicious. My god. <laughs> we inhaled this food. This makes you want to lick your chopsticks. Mm. <laughs> this is the magic this stuff. This is what we had. Pork cutlet fried, so and then good. rice, and this sauce the magic sauce they have a cute little jar mm. hey there guys thanks for watching another episode i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe below and drop a comment if you can i would really appreciate it ciao follow me <laughs> subscribe <laughs>